Okay, so we're gonna get strapped in. Yep. And you'll teach me the basics once we get in, right? Okay. Uh, I've done this before and never gets <laughs> easy! What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood back at the Long Beach Grand Prix covering all the action. I'm thinking to myself, I want to see Mario Andretti again because you are one of the sweetest men around, one of the sweetest athletes I've interviewed. Does it ever get old for you or how do you keep it alive every time? You know, fans are so important and uh, I obviously we exist because of that in our business. And, but you know, if I can bring a smile to anyone, uh, it brings me a smile as well. Okay, Tristan, we just came from the IndyCar nook of the track. Talk about your car. It kind of looks like an Indy car, except it's got a lot more bodywork and a roof over it. So what's the difference between Indy and your circuit? The biggest difference is there's two drivers or three drivers in the car at once. Takuma. Yes. This is amazing. What are they doing right now to the cars? They look very busy. Oh yes, it is always busy. But yeah. Everything is tiny, tiny details, but that makes cars go faster. Okay, you actually look really cool standing in front of the pace car. Is this natural or you're posing for me? No, it's natural. It's years of practice. How do I do it? Because I want to look cool like you. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, so it'll be a little bit tricky, but like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Another rookie with an accent who comes from Formula One. How's the transition going into Indy? It's good. It depends what you think's an accent. I think you've got an accent and I haven't, so, you know, <laughs> yada yada. I feel like you guys are the first family of racing at this point. Congratulations. Merging our family, the Ray Halls, with the forces, and obviously two completely different types of racing, uh, drag racing versus IndyCar, but yeah, I think probably. Your name is officially on the car. Yes, it is, in a, in a permanent fixture. It's amazing. How did, that, how did that feel, and how did you get here? Walk me through it. Oh, it's great. I mean, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. You know, there's not a lot of people who get to do this, and, um, you know, it took a lot of work, a lot, many years of trying to get to this point, and, uh, and great partners to, to come on board, and, you know, finally, all the pieces of the puzzle that were lost for years finally all came together. Okay, so we're gonna get strapped in, yep. and you'll teach me the basics once we get in, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I've done this before, and it's never gets in! <laughs> so I'm interviewing a lot of rookies this time around. What advice are you passing down to the newbies? Well, you know, it's just like anything else. Just uh, pay attention to uh, see what the veterans are doing. You know, just learn every day. It's, uh, it is, it's a process. It's a long process. How do you bring your game up? How do you learn new tricks? You know when you're at the limit. And, yeah. uh, and you got to be there all at all times. You yeah. know, just you can't relax. So. Uh, it's just a matter of just learning how to, how to deal with it. You are 20, you are one of the youngings around here. What's the best advice some of the veterans have taught you? Be down to earth. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. Don't burn any bridges and uh, just be yourself. Don't try to be anything you're not and uh, go out there and always put a smile on. So now you are the only Japanese driver on the circuit. Right, yes, right now, yes. Wow, that's a lot on your shoulders, no? Uh, well, yeah, a little bit, but that's, that's what you are really always dreaming of. And um, I've done it racing in Europe, and, you know, I'm now in, yeah. in the States, and uh, it's, it still keep on going, and I really appreciate all the support. Biggest difference between Formula One and Indy? Tracks, Whoa! tracks, cars, people. The great thing about IndyCar that you don't have in Formula One yeah. is the fact that the fans can get up close and check it out, whereas in Formula One, it's all very restricted. It's really fan friendly. The fans get to come up real close. We have this um, this fan walk here that they can actually come up and see the cars really up close, uh, interact with the drivers, and I, I, I really like that personally. I like having a um, an interaction with the fans. She's ready to go racing. It's a little tight, yeah? You gotta have a little tushy! <laughs> this never gets old, people. How many times have you gone to the bathroom in this car? Never. You have to go it before jumping into the car. You've gone to the bathroom in this car. Uh, no, no. 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 Oh. This is way more intricate. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons here. How many times have you peed in this seat? Never once. You know when you're. Are you you're lying there, to me because I'm sitting in it? No, no. I, I promise you. Okay. I promise you. Okay. I haven't peed in the seat. Okay. <laughs> And being in Long Beach at the Grand Prix, it's kind of just another race for you guys, right? Yeah. It is. This is my off weekend. That's why I'm able to come out here and support him. But 
it's it's a lot of fun for me to come out and watch him race this event, uh, particularly because I'm from California. So I live right down the street. A lot of our friends are coming out this weekend. So it, it's great to be out here and just kind of be a supporter of his and just to, to be here to watch. You love I love it, yeah, yeah. The sun, I mean, beautiful women, beautiful places, beautiful everything, great food, fast cars. <laughs> Sounds kind of like you're a guy. Uh, Cars, yeah. women, hot That makes weather. sense. Uh, you're, makes you're sense. a guy, yeah. Yep. Speaking of relaxing, little quiz here. How does Mario Andretti relax? Ideal night. What's it for you? Oh, just a nice dinner somewhere, a glass or two of wine. Yeah, the normal thing, yeah. Uh, probably on my simulator for about an hour or so, uh, just so I can uh, get in tune with the next track and then uh, watch some Netflix. Um, with friends, uh, dinner, go out, then Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Yeah. So that's how you as an athlete stays in shape you Taco Bell? Well, no, I'm saying an ideal fun night, not an every night. Uh, oh, yeah. good, touche, uh, yeah. touche. Right. Barbecuing at home. I knew she was gonna say that and I'd probably say the same. Like, we like to get friends over and uh, cook out and grill out out back and have some fun. I love uh, EDM music, so any sort of festival or night with Dylan Francis or Dead Mouse or any any of those guys, Zed, that'd be, that'd be pretty wild. I like that stuff. Hamburger or hot dog? Uh, both. <laughs> uh, I'll have a steak and shake steak burger. I'd, I'd probably go with the burger as well. I'm having a normal conversation! <laughs> Hamburger. What emoji are you loving these days? Uh, you know, always uh, the one with this, like, the smile and the tears. <laughs> Favorite emoji? I guess it's the one with the hearts and the eyes. I don't know how to explain it. Can you make the face now? I guess I. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably use the American flag the most. The uh, the one that winks and has the tongue out. That one. What's a family? dinner like in the Andretti household? If it's after a race, if things go well, ooh, everybody just celebrating. Yeah. If it's not, uh, it's a bit somber, you know, but um, I'm just so happy, so actually proud to, to have the third generation yeah. uh, in Marco driving us. So it's a family business period. It seems like we don't know anything else, but, uh, you know, we know a little bit about this, so we stay at it. She's in there knitting. Can we go crash and, and of course, yeah, and come meet her. Yeah, come in. Okay, cool. Shit. <laughs> She's literally knitting. No, keep knitting. You were dating all through college, so university. College, so Co American. College. <laughs> I left school after sixteen, and then focused always on racing. And I met Chloe a year after I sort of set off fully full time to become a racing driver. She never expected me to get to Formula One, so she, it was a really nice process. And then. Um, and then she's now come with me to America. That so. makes you sound really mean that I never expected you to get to Formula One. It's just one of those things that she thought it was more of a hobby, and then like, she realised it was a profession. Yeah, I want to get to F1. I used to be like, yeah, oh. cool, <laughs> and then yeah. Then I made it. Then you so. did make it. So if you weren't a race car driver, what would you be? Um, I'd love to be a professional golfer. I'm not good enough to be a professional golfer, but I love that sport, I love that way of life. I think golf courses are the most amazing places. I can knit you all those little hats that the golf... To go over the yeah. golf club, golf club Yeah, it would be great. Way forward. I'd be selling cars. Cars. I love cars. You love cars? Yeah. I still have to find a way to come to the racing. I love it. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs>